In the area of social inequalities in health and the social detriments of health, groundbreaking research by Richard Wilkinson and Kate Pickett of the UK has given us some profound realizations about what it means to have a society based and driven by inequality. To summarize this groundbreaking research, the common view that social problems are caused directly by singular material conditions such as bad housing or poor diets or a lack of educational opportunities and so on is being overturned. The idea that more wealthy societies do better than poorer societies in regard to health in general is not the case. The social problems abundant in rich, highly stratified countries are largely caused by the scale of material differences between people within society itself. The problem is not absolute income, but rather the problem of relative income. If you compare groups of people with the same income in different countries, you find that those in more unequal countries do much worse than those in more equal countries with the same income. It appears to be a psychosocial phenomenon. Inequality seems to make countries socially dysfunctional. And as based on measures of societal health, crime rates and well-being, our current structure is nothing more than a social failure.